Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the unboxing and setup of my newest project. And this is Prongs and the Deathly Hallows. So we are going right back into the wizarding world. It is a 30 by 40 full drill. Looks like a round. There are 16 colors. So less than what we normally have. And let's get into this. So if this turns out as good as I hope it does, this will actually be going in my Harry Potter room at my house. So let's see here. So this is a 30 by 40, so I'm not expecting a great deal of, you know, great deal of detail. It does look pretty good. The symbols look really clear. There's some in here. The ones are a little dark, but that'll be okay because they're, it's easy to discern what they are. But the rest look pretty clear. But yeah, this looks like it, uh, it's supposed to be just ethereal. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like. So it should translate pretty well, even though it is small. And I actually look forward to doing this. So this is poured glue. Actually... I mean, it's sticky, but it's not as sticky as some. I hope that I don't have any popping problems. I do feel a ridge right here. I think that's the plastic, though. Alright, so... We are going to set this aside. Oh, it does look like it has the DMC codes too. That's going to be nice. So let's set this aside and look at the diamonds. Alrighty. So, random trash. Alright. So this is a toolkit. Just pretty standard. Keep the tray, keep the wax, and everything else gets tossed. So let's see what the diamonds look like. Alright, so we got a lot of black, which is not surprising. A lot of grays, blues, purples. I'm not seeing a lot of trash in here, which looks good. Got some pretty greens. Oh, I thought this was going to be an AV, but it's not. Still, I really look forward to getting this potted up so I can get it started. Yeah, yeah, the diamonds look really good. Let me see if I can... Never likes to focus. Maybe? Maybe? Nope, it's not going to focus. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get this potted up.
Okay, so everything is potted up and we have about 20 pots full because there are four pots of black, which looking at the picture, that's not, not a hard thing to believe. So now the next step is to prepare the um, canvas. And I think I will use my light pad for this one, just because some of the, I mean, some of the symbols are clear, but they could be made more clear. So I think I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet and use my light pad for this one, which I haven't used it in a while. All right. And if you've been following me for any length of time, I usually remove a row at a time and I work like this. Now, the bigger paintings, I will have to worry about both axes, but for these small ones, I can usually get away with doing an entire row at a time. She is ready to go and the next time you see this painting it will be in the time lapse so if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you enjoy unboxings diamond paintings time lapse videos reviews and um, and portfolio and framing videos please hit the subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell also if you would like to support my art I do have an Etsy store and a patreon and the links are listed below as I hope everyone is having a happy and healthy holiday season, and I will see you next time. Bye!